Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Cadence and I am an artist here on YouTube who loves pretty much anything art and today I'm going to be reviewing Hemi Jelly Gouache. So the paint mediums that I normally work with are acrylics, watercolor, and water soluble oil paints. So I was able to get my set for $24 rather than $30. Um, I got mine off of Amazon and when I purchased it, it seemed that there was like a miniature Prime Day going on and so I would suggest looking around to see if there are any deals because it seems like they do go on sale quite often. So upon taking it out of the box, the first thing I noticed was that it was really heavy. The plastic seemed like it was really high quality and it just seemed like we were off to a good start. So the set I got did come with an extra little mixing palette. I don't know if all of them come with this palette. I don't think they do, so I would keep a lookout for that. The set did come with a swatch card, but the colors just looked really generic and I didn't think they were going to match. The brushes, on the other hand, did look like they were high quality. It wasn't like those cheapy brushes that some paint sets come with like these looked like they actually had some thought put into them so when taking off the seals it was pretty hit or miss some of the seals were relatively easy to remove while others were pretty difficult So even with the first container that I opened, I was already making a mess. I did make sure to have a towel off camera so I was able to not make too much of a mess even though that was pretty hard. So I would suggest when opening these containers, you have some type of napkin, paper towel, or something to help clean your fingers off because otherwise paint is going to get everywhere. So while removing the seals, the only defect that I noticed was this lavender color. It did have some weird gunk and the seal was not completely shut, but otherwise all of the other seals were shut nicely. It's kind of funny because lavender is my favorite color and it's the one paint that did have a defect. So I started organizing in rainbow order and 
Of course, after getting a bunch of colors in, I realized that there was a dark red that I totally missed and I had to take everything out and start over. Throughout the whole process, I actually ended up having to do that multiple times. I should have just organized all the colors first and then put them into the case. So if you have yet to get your gouache set, I would recommend after taking off all the seals, organize them in the order that you would like and then put them in the case rather than put them all in the case in an order that you think is going to work and then find out that there's a color missing or you missed a color and then having to start all over. As you can see, I did this multiple times having to take out the colors and reorganize them. There's a tip for you. So a tip that I saw some other artists suggesting was to spray the paints and then to mix them all to get all of the oil and water combined with the paint. Looking back on this, I realized I don't think I needed to do it to all of them. Some of the paints did have some oil sitting on the top, but not all of them. So I would suggest just doing the ones that look like they need stirred or, or you could do all of them, but it might be kind of tedious and not all of them need it. So after getting all the paints nice and stirred, I decided it was time to open the brushes. And just like my suspicions, the brushes are good quality. I don't really care for the light bristles because I know that they get stained really well, but they're really pretty right out of the bag. I also made my own swatch sheet that didn't come with a pre-made swatch sheet so that I could put the paint on the sheet itself I had to make my own so when I first put down the paint I noticed it felt a lot like my water soluble oil paints and I know people like to compare them to acrylics and watercolor but that's just my experience it seemed like it was really thick and buttery and not quite as artificial or chalky like acrylics can be Now I'm just going to swatch the rest of the colors. So one thing I didn't mention earlier was I'm using the paint off of the seals, off of the lids of the little containers instead of actually dipping into the container itself. Now there were colors like this lime green that were just, there wasn't enough paint on the lid so I did go in and use the container but for the most part I tried to not waste any of the paint and just got as much off of the lid as I needed. And yes, the whole process was really messy. So now I'm going to do a little practice painting. I'm going to tape off the sides so I get a nice clean border and make it look all dainty. Instead of actually getting the paint straight out of the containers, I'm just going to scoop some and mix them all on this little palette. I wanted to try my best to keep the paints that are in the little containers as clean as possible. So that's why I'm using this palette rather than taking my brush and getting the paint straight out of the container. Plus I was also going for more of an olive -y type green and the set didn't come with that. So it's another plus to mixing on the palette. It gives you more choices and more of a range to be able to make different colors with different hues. So my goal for this painting was for it to be pretty basic. I didn't want to do anything elaborate or detailed because I'm not really familiar with these paints. The painting that I'm doing is just going to be a loose representation of flowers. So right off the bat, I was going in way too thick with the paint. I had to dilute it and get it to have better even coverage. So a tip for beginner gouache painters from a beginner is if you're doing a background, I would go in with a thinner layer of paint first. It's kind of like oil paint if you have ever tried oil painting before. It's supposed to be thin over thick or thick over thin. I can't remember how the saying goes. But you put down a thin layer first and then you start building up the layers. And that's what I did with this painting. So here I'm blotting in the shapes for the flowers. This is after the background had dried. I would definitely wait for the backdrop to dry first before going in with your thicker layers of paint because otherwise it would just blend all together and be super muddy. 
And through this whole process, I definitely had to do some experimenting. And for me, that's one of the most enjoyable things about trying new mediums is the challenge behind it all. So I went in with a darker orange and then with a lighter orange because in my reference it was supposed to be, so the darker orange is kind of like the further back petals and just trying to get that similar resemblance is pretty tricky but I definitely had fun with this painting. Let me know if you have done anything with gouache and what your experience is and if it's your favorite medium or what is your favorite medium. Let me know in the comments below. I would be so so happy to see what y'all's favorite mediums are and any questions that you have. So anyway guys, this was a super fun medium to work with. Let me know in the comments if you are a gouache artist, if you've used gouache before, if you plan to, and how it was. I would love to hear from you. I also noticed that I used a ton of paint. Luckily, these paints are reusable and you're able to activate them again with water. Also, keep the lid snapped shut. I think that's how a lot of people's paints dry out. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful, blessed, and creative day. Bye!